In this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how you can make up to $100 per day just by trading cryptocurrency using my simple trading strategy. So this video is catered for beginners and for people who don't know how to start trading cryptocurrency. So I'll make everything as easy to follow and as simple as possible. I'll discuss everything step by step. So before we begin, you guys need two things. One, you need a website where you can basically check the crypto prices or the charts. I recommend using tradingview.com. And second, which is the most important, you guys need a crypto exchange where you can basically place your trades. And I recommend using bybit.com or Binance. If you guys want to sign up on Bybit right now, don't forget to sign up using my link. Click the link right now in the description and you guys can get up to $30,000 in bonus as well as zero fees upon sign up. And, th and then you're good to go. So let's begin Right now in trading view, we are going to be using Bitcoin for today's tutorial and we are in the daily time frame. So here are the key topics for this video. Number one, we're going to start with supply and demand zone. So this is basically the easiest one to basically start your trading journey. So essentially supply and demand zones are support and resistance levels. Supply and demand zones are areas of interest where people buy and sell cryptocurrency or where people enter and exit the market as an example right here for the bitcoin price in the daily time frame so let's first find a demand zone an example of a demand zone is this level right here where i'm going to draw the rectangle right now so this is a demand zone and this is where people think that this is an ideal price level to buy bitcoin and this is where basically people enter the market and also this is where big money and big institutions also buy a ton of Bitcoin resulting in a spike in the price right here. As you guys can see, it has happened here, here, and here. So this is an, an area of interest and this is a demand zone. So the next time Bitcoin touches this level, we can expect the price to be supported by this demand zone, of course. So right here, previously it has acted as support and we saw impulsive moves to the upside and the next time we went back to the same demand zone we saw a spike in the price right after and what is a supply zone however so the supply zone is the exact opposite of demand zones. supply zones are basically key levels where people exit the market and where big money or big institutions exit the market and you can also join and ride their wave and and profit from it such as this level this is a supply zone and this is again where people or big money and big institution decide to sell their bitcoin and you can profit off of this by shorting it on a crypto exchange such, such as bybit right here you guys can place a sell or a short position and profit while the price is basically dumping to the downside but if you decide or if you you're predicting that the price is going to go up in the future you can buy long on bitcoin at a specific price right here but again like if you're predicting the market's going to go down you can place a short it's just as easy as that you could place your order price and then the quantity right here so let's go back to the charts right now so right here you guys can profit off of this as you guys can see clearly this is an area of interest this is a supply zone so the next time bitcoin goes back to this level you can place a short right here and profit on the way down as a result of this supply zone basically so that's how supply and demand zones work it's very easy it's just a level essentially where you see the price move strongly to one direction yes such as this one you saw the price right here move to the downside impulsively a couple of times a couple of times right here so this is where big money is selling their bitcoin and this is now a supply zone and the exact opposite is this demand zone where big money or buyers enter the market and you can see a reaction the price right here for the bitcoin price impulsive moves now let's move to the next topic which is patterns so patterns this is also this kind of hard if you're starting cryptocurrency because you have to memorize a ton of patterns but I'll show you guys an example. We're going to move to a different cryptocurrency. Like I'm going to use Quant, which is my favorite. So this one. We're going to move in the 4 hourly time frame for this one. 
So as an example right here, you guys can see in the four hourly time frame for the quant price, we had this massive pump to the upside and you can analyze patterns to predict the future price action. So right here, I spotted a rising wedge. You guys can see this is a rising wedge. Let me just enlarge this. So a rising wedge is a bearish pattern and this is basically indicating a potential dump in the future. And as you guys can see, we formed this rising wedge and then we broke to the downside, had a retest of the rising wedge, and then we basically continued the downtrend. And this downtrend we have right here is the result of this rising wedge right here. And also many, many factors also come into play, such as the RSI. As you guys can see, while the price was moving to the upside, we were already losing momentum in the RSI. So you guys must also put importance in the RSI because this is also very, very essential in predicting future price action so once you see the rsi cooling to the downside and having this correction you can expect that the, the price could also follow suit and have this short-term pullback so again this is a rising wedge to measure the target you basically pull or you basically use the base of the wedge or the the starting point of the wedge and then place it to the point of breakdown so the target is a dump towards 112 dollars and yeah Next are triangles. Let's, let me find a historical price action where there are triangles. Here is an example of a symmetrical triangle. Let me just pull it out right here. This one is a symmetrical triangle. As you guys can see, a very, very clear formation of a symmetrical triangle. Now, this is a 50-50 pattern, meaning it can either be bullish or bearish, and we can break to the upside or to the downside. But in this case, we broke to the downside and had a retest and continued the move to the downside, of course. To measure the targets, you just take the base or basically the starting point of the triangle and place it to the point of breakdown. And you guys can see the target is a dump towards $119 right here. But we exceeded the target and continued even lower to around $116. And then we are covered from there on. So that's those are basically triangles. And there are many forms of triangles. Basically, you can have an ascending triangle, a descending triangle, and yeah, you can also see triangles in flag formations, such as, let me just find some more right here. Here is an example of a bull flag that I'm talking about, where you can also find triangles forming with it. So you can call this a bull pennant. So this is the pole right here. And then this is a triangle or the pennant. And then as you guys can see, if we measure the target this time, you don't use the triangle as the measurement, but instead you use the pole right here and then place it to the point of breakout which is essentially a target of $112 and as you guys can see we exactly touched the target and we had this impulsive move to the upside of course to our designated target so this is very very nice to trade because it's easy to spot and I like this you can also do the exact same thing for bear pennants it's still the exact same thing it works the same way aside from triangles there are also there are also bottoming patterns such as this double bottom pattern right here. Yes, there. this is a double bottom pattern which is also indicating a potential reversal to the upside. You guys can take the targets by just pointing, drawing the neckline right here and then measuring it from the high to the low and place it to the point of breakout. As you guys can see, the target of this breakout from the double bottom pattern which we have formed right here is a pump towards $164.00 we we didn't reach that level yes we didn't touch that level we touched 163 and dumped the downside so we didn't meet the target that's why i prefer to take profits when we're about 60 percent on the way there and don't take profit on the exact target because again sometimes we don't reach that level so again one strategy you guys can use is take profits when you're already 60 percent on the way to your target but that's just how I do it. You guys can do your own style. Now, what I love with these types of patterns is that you can also combine these with su supply and demand zones, such as, let's say this is a, a demand zone. As you guys can see, this is where the price usually takes a turn and have an impulsive move or have a strong reversal that, that brings us back to the upside. So this is an area of interest. So when the price basically dumps to, let's say, a demand zone right here, you guys can wait for patterns. And then once it completely forms, you guys can start to place a long on 
the neckline right here once we do break to the upside that's where you place your longs and then ride the wave up so it's very very critical for you guys to watch out for supply and demand zones because we can also form large patterns while we're on those areas of interest such as this example we have touched a demand zone right here and we have formed this double bottom pattern and if we have touched as an example let's say a supply zone we can also form a double top top pattern and move to the downside so this is a very very versatile combo which is patterns and supply and demand zones a very very versatile combo i recommend you guys use it now now let us move back to the bitcoin charts and next in our in our topic is trend lines so this is also very very easy and i'll teach you guys how you can trade trend lines so for this one you guys should basically first of all spot a trend which is in this case we see bitcoin is in a long-term downtrend right here so you can draw a trend line right here such as this one yes now trend lines sometimes can be very complicated because we can sometimes have fake outs such as this one right here we had a fake out but we continue the trend to the downside so you, i recommend you guys be very very careful with this one but right now i'm going to teach you guys how you can trade the trend lines so as an example we're in a downtrend yes we are in a downtrend let's move the price downtrend so every time the bitcoin price basically makes a move to the trend line like let's move back here so this is a downtrend and the next time we have a move to the trend line we can expect it to be rejected by the trend line and we can profit off of this by placing a short the moment we touch the trend line and ride the wave down and make some profits while we dump to the downside and then you close your positions and then wait for the bitcoin price to basically have a move to the upside once again and touch the trend line right here wait for bitcoin to move and touch the trend line and once we do touch the trend line again you can place a short right here and then ride the move to the downside and profit while we're basically dumping now what if the bitcoin price decides to break to the upside of the trend line then this is where you can place your your longs so let's say a bitcoin price the bitcoin price breaks above the trend line right here you can place a long and profit on the way up right here and that's about a 40 percent move to the upside so another example i could use is for the quant charts you can see this it, there's a trend line right here a down down sloping trend line and you guys can basically make profits every time we touch the trend line and place a short right here so let's say the quant price touches a trend line uh sorry about that the quant price touches a trend line right here and the moment we do touch the trend line you guys can place a short and profit on the way down and then close your positions and then the next time we pump and touch a trend line right here you guys can place another short and then profit on the way down close your position and repeat the same thing until we keep going down basically so that's how easy it is to trade trend lines so the next topic on my list is this one which is the moving average which is the fourth on our list now this is actually an indicator and you guys have to search this up right here just type ma and it shows moving average right here you click on that one and then it adds it basically add gets added into your chart now what you want to do right here is change the settings open up settings and go to inputs and change the length from 9 to 100 because we're going to be using the 100 moving average which is very very accurate i use the 100 moving average in my videos as well so as you guys can see right here this is the blue line yeah this blue line is the 100 moving average as you guys can see right here it is clearly acting as support and resistance as you guys can see for the charts right here it acted as support and we had this impulsive move to the upside so you guys can see how versatile and useful this actually is and we can combo this with our other previous strategies right here so if we move back in the bitcoin price history you guys can clearly see that this 100 moving average this blue line has acted as resistance so whenever we do touch the 100 moving average we see a rejection and we dump to the downside right here and then the next time the next time we touch the 100 moving average the blue line we touch it right here we face some re resistance we get rejected and we dump to the downside 
So this is a very useful tool. You guys can use this to basically trade cryptos as well. You can basically, how I do it is whenever, I just use it how I how I trade it with trend lines. Like as an example, we, we, we have a pump towards a, the moving average. This is where you place the short and you ride the move to the downside. And then the next time we touch the 100 moving average, you can place a short right here, a short position. And then you can ride the wave or the move to the downside and profit on the way down. You can use these or you can use this strategy in combo with my other previous strategies discussed, such as the supply and demand zones, the patterns and the trend lines. Very, very useful. And I recommend you guys add this into your charts right now. And the next we're going to discuss is fair value gaps. Now we're getting into the harder parts of the discussion. So what are fair value gaps? So essentially fair value gaps are large candles that create imbalance in the market such as this one. So to profit off of fair value gaps, you guys want to find large candle movements or a large single candle move to the upside or to the downside. One example is this candle right here. This is a fair value gap. So you can expect this, basically this zone to act as support. So let me just throw this out. This is lab labeled it as a fair value gap. So as you guys can see, the price essentially respects this fair value gap. We don't dump below the fair value gap, but instead we hold this level right here. And this is very critical because this is where you want to place a long position for let's say Bitcoin. This is where you, you should place a long position and then ride this massive move to the upside. So those are fair value gaps. Another example is right here. This is another example of a fair value gap and we respect the fair value gap as you guys can see for the Bitcoin price. This is where you want to place a long position on Bybit right now and then ride the wave up right here. So essentially fair value gaps are just large single candles that act as support or resistance now let's search for bearish fair value gaps so right here i just found a bearish fair value gap as you guys can see this a pretty large red candle to the downside right here so this is gonna be our bearish fair value gap and as you guys can see still the same thing this fair value gap is being respected by the bitcoin price so we dumped to the downside and we had a test of the fair value gap and then we continue the move to the downside. So this is essentially where you would want to place a short position on your preferred exchange. Open a short position right here and then ride the move to the downside. And if you did, you would make approximately a 15% profit on the way down right here. So for the last topic, we're going to be talking about order blocks. Now, I'm not saying that order blocks are very hard to learn, nor are they easy. They're somewhere in between. So let's start by identifying order blocks. So, so what are order blocks? Order blocks are essentially price levels. Keep in mind price levels where the market tends to have a strong reaction to. Right here for the Bitcoin price, we're in the weekly time frame. And here is an example of an order block. Here are two examples actually. So as you guys can see, Bitcoin touched this level. We had a strong reaction to the downside. We moved strong to the downside. In fact, this is a 50% dump to the downside. And when we touched this order block right here in the weekly, we had this strong move to the upside. So those are order blocks. Order blocks are again, price levels where the market tends to have a strong reaction to. Now, how do I spot order blocks? First of all, it's by identifying again, strong movements in the market and next one is by identifying a trend such as this one we can see we're in a downturn right here literally a what is this one two three four five six seven a 10 plus streaks or a 10 plus streak of red candles to the downside but we had this one green candle in the weekly this is an order block as well so you can place a rectangle right here like so and we can expect this to of course this price level to be respected in the future. So as you guys can see, this happened in May 30 of 2022. And many months later, we saw the Bitcoin price test the exact same level right here. And we got rejected because again, this is an order block right here. So clearly very easy to spot. Just find again a trend and then find a single candle, which is the exact opposite among the rest right here. 
these are red streaks of red candles but we had one green candle right here so this is an order block and like i've said you can pull out your rectangle extend it all the way to the right right here label it as ob then you can you can expect the price basically to respect this level and you can place a short right here open a short and then ride the move to the downside and make some profit so that's how you profit off of order blocks so now if you combine all of these things we have discussed in today's video you will create a killer trading strategy but see as you guys can see this is a very very versatile very effective trading strategy which you guys can use right now as a beginner it's very easy to learn just apply what I have taught you guys in today's video. If you guys want me to make a part 2 of a specific topic, comment down below. And drop a like if you guys enjoyed. And subscribe if you want to stay updated to my videos.